Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Today I'm in my spare room. I am going to show you what I have in my wool stash and other things. But before I do that, I have a parcel. It's finally come from Darlene this afternoon. So I'm going to open it up and let you have a look because I haven't opened it yet. I have to be careful when I'm looking in, in this because I don't want to cut any strands of the wood when I'm trying to open it. And this is what Darlene sent me. It's Awesome Ombre Blue Sky. This will be a new one on me. It's, I can't see if I the label stuck on it. It's Yarn B. Yarn B. And it's a lovely, it's fluffy. You can see the When you pull it, you see the, the bits of fluff there. I'm not sure it's made of. I'll have to have a look. Oh, I found it. <laughs> They're so small, the writing on here. 75% acrylic. 15% nylon and 10% wool. I can't weigh anything made with wool. Not all wool, but it's only 10% wool. So I did see, I think when Darlene was showing this, when she done the competition that I won, I said that I would probably like a scarf with this. But there's a lot more here than what I realise, actually. Don't know how much I'm trying to see how much there is in the board. 435 yards I'm trying to see how many how many grams or was 398 meters so there's probably more than a hundred gram ball it's 3.25 millimeter needles, so it's quite fine. But I think if I was going to make a, a scarf, I think I would do it on a thicker, a thicker needle. My video thing is still keep going light and dark, but I think I would probably do it on a bigger needle for a scarf. You don't have to have it closed up stitches. I could do with a scarf in this weather. I've got one or two old ones, you know, but they really need thrown out. <laughs> You'd think with all the yarn I have and all the knitting I do that I'd knit myself a scarf, but I just never seem to find time. So I have two balls for that. So there's probably probably about the equivalent to 300 grams I'll probably wait when I take it down because I'm up in my spare bedroom at the um, the moment so thank you Darlene it's finally come and I like this blue is one of my favorite colors I do like this and it is a mixy different shades of blue in it so I'm going to have to find time to do that scarf for myself. I'll get around. I'll probably do a, like a, a lacy type. So there's a lot of holes in it. And if I find that I can't wear it because of the 10% wool, I'll probably give it to my granddaughter. 
So that is that. And I did say I was going to show you my stock of wool that I have. A lot I've bought and a lot I've been sent. So I'm going to turn this. I have my laptop on uh, one of those table on wheels, you know, I'm turning it around <laughs> to let you see. Those are my shelves. Bring my seat back. The shelves are like I've, I've told everyone this used to be my husband's workroom. And this here was his bench where he used to do. You probably can't see very well at the moment, but I'll bring the, the computer down there. I need to tip it really. Yeah, you see, there's a big jigsaw on that bench. I might one day get it finished. <laughs> but I was nearly finished, and this jigsaw fits exact width of the, the bench. There's probably about a fraction of a, an inch on either side. In two particular little horrors visiting me one day decided to come up here and play and all I had was a little few pieces to put in across the top here and they were playing on this bench and they pushed the jigsaw back and all the top pieces that I had put in fell down while it took me ages to do with this jigsaw and to find where all the pieces go because the colours are all there's no different colour it's all sky part and I could have strangled them <laughs> I managed to pick the pieces up and I haven't gotten around to it yet but um, this bench I used to use and you can see my sewing machine in the corner there I used to do with my sewing right here <coughs> but since the stick has been here I've been able to do that I've had to bring my sewing machine downstairs to do anything um, I want but this is all of my wool up here all of this this one that one that one that one that one that one, that one, these, all of these from here, there, are all already so crafty. And I do have some from B&M. This blue one on the end here is B&M. It's trim, I think they call that one. And then I have a, um, I don't know if I remember the name of this one. It's been, um, majestic. Have some majestic, and that is something I can't do for myself. But it's a mixture of wool and something else. God. So I will one day get around to knitting a lot of this up, and up the top here I have red. That is uh, what I'm busy knitting at the moment by Claudette. Some more majestic brown iron. And I have some pink patens. There's four balls of pink patens and I think there's about six or seven balls of the um, majestic. That is the cream that I got for um, Janet. That one's for Janet. You can see a little bit more. Yes, that one's for Janet. That is the the sparkle that Lovecraft sent me instead of the lilac. They sent me the black sparkle instead. And I have some Wilco baby blue. Some Amelia white, which is mine when I get round to making it. I kept so many balls of that myself because Wilco. I bought it from Wilco, but they do not have that one in anymore in the shop near me. Why, I don't know. That was more Wilco, bright yellow. And I have odd balls of patents, some white balls. Oh, there's four balls of um, patents white there. And this is some purple mariners, mariners yarn I have. Not some old mariners. I'm busy knitting myself a cardigan with that one at the, um, the moment. It's like a coral colour. That's the orange that I knit Angela's cardigan in. There's some five balls of that left. And this is some of the, um, the yarn that um, Sandra sent to me. 
This is mohair. So it's like a dark green mohair. And then I have some other balls up in the, uh, the corner. That's pure wool that I wound from Hanks that Sandra sent me. I have some more patents there. And then I have some Hanks of pure wool. Cloud bone, I think it's um and then paint box cotton, which I usually do my posters in. Um Carol did send me some um of the um the paint box, but I used all that and I bought more. It was just for the Christmas um course, so that'll probably be there till next Christmas, unless I need to use those colours for anything. And then I have oddballs. Patents, a lot of stuff what Sandra sent me here. And this is um, two lots that I have here for daggery that I have to do for daggeries and oddballs and more cotton from Sandra. And the bottom shelf here, this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, is all Poundland. Three balls for the price of two. So three balls for two pound and then some more odd balls that Sandra sent me uh, recently. I have to put all these into plastic bags because I haven't got anything to um, to cover them in. I don't put them in plastic bags all the dust and everything will get into them so because they're here for such a long time. <laughs> but that's all of the wool that I don't know whether there's enough time in my lifetime to knit it all up, but it's there anyway. And then I'm going to show you the rest of this room. This is actually, I call it my junk room. I turn it round, that's just my window. And I have a spare bed here for anyone that needs to stop when they, if they come, but I have a couple of bags. On here, these are bags where I keep all oddballs. These are just little bits of wool in that bag, you know, little bits and pieces that's left over. And that is all the cuttings of everything I sew up. I keep all the little pieces of wool that I cut off. And they do for stuffing if you need to stuff anything. I haven't had to stuff anything. I think the last thing I needed to stuff was a, um, a pin cushion. But if I need anything to stuff anything, that's what all those are kept for. But as soon as you buy you, that stuffing which costs you a fortune. And then I have lots of folds in here. When I've been doing crocheting, knitting, anything on balls, they get put into the... Uh, into the bag here. And that was a bag I crocheted quite some time ago with some of that. It was Aldi's. It was my granddaughter gave it to me actually. It was that um I don't know what you call it, you can see where it's where it is. It's very thick. Chenille. Chenille, I think it's equivalent to chenille. I made that bag. I also made my granddaughter bag as well. And then that was some what I had in the same stuff but in the lemon. And this is where all my cones I have. <laughs> I have lots of machine knitting cones. These were quite thick. This was from a firm I used to get it from called Bramwell. That was where the, um, all the cones used to come from. It used to be, this was a four ply acrylic bag that was in this one but this is that. Uh, it's like a, um, it's got little knots in it. You can hand knit this. It's, it's meant for a knitting machine, but it can be hand knitted, which I might get round to that one day as well. I think I did knit myself a cardigan with that quite some time ago. So that's a few cones I have of that in there and other odd ends of other bits of cones that, that I've had left. These were all off my knitting machine, which I just keep them, they come in handy sometimes. But this was one of those bags 
I've just made it long and slotted it thing in the top to fasten it and the rest of the room is <laughs> junk these this is something that the kids play on the it's a um it's a game a racing game you plug it into the television they've tried that it's not very good There's another thing they play with, our cars go round and round and round on and then have a bag down there full of junk. That one's sorting out and throwing out what I don't need. And that's a thing that goes on the top of my granddaughter's car. <laughs> one day she might come and get it. <laughs> she left it here when she got another car. I don't think it fits on the car she's got now, right? So she left that here anyway. And then I have shelf in the corner here these were all my husband's DVDs I don't know whether I can get over there and move that little chair for me I can't get in for the junk I've got down the bottom of this bed All these sort of DVDs, most of them were John Wayne. Every single film, I think I've got nearly, I've got a lot of them up there, John Wayne, but I recorded, I used to have, a, well I still have DVD recorder and every single John Wayne film that was on the television I had to record and sit and edit out all the adverts and put them onto disc. And he still watched them when they were on the television again. And I used to sit and laugh because I used to sit and watch them and I could see his mouth moving, seeing the words before they said them. He knew they were off by heart on the uh, thing. So I have a lot of these. I might sell them to if anybody wants to buy them, you know, go on that um, country site or anywhere else because they're no good to me. I'm not interested in watching John Wayne Cowboys. I've seen them that many times because of my husband. But the other ones we also had Hornblower, Sherlock Holmes, uh, more John Wayne, Shaw, all those sort of things. And these were all my husband's. I mean, he used to have this room up here after my sons left. There was um, two boys used to share this room. And when they left, he made it into his workroom. And even had a television up here and he used to sit and watch, you know, we used to have a DVD for all these things so he could play them, a uh, DVD player and that. And we used to watch all of them for hours on end while he was messing about with fixing televisions and videos. And even my, I think my iron went up the creek one time and he put a new thermostat in it. And like, see, when my husband was alive, I never had to pay a thing to have anything fixed because... He was a jack of all trades and he fixed everything. Even the car, when the car went up the creek, the, very, the only time I ever put the car in the garage was when we had to for MOTs and things like that. But uh, this was his room and he'd be turning his grave and you could see what I'd got in it now. <laughs> so, and before I go, I want to show you a little, just a little, it's a photograph actually, I made in a tiny little um, video, one of my subscribers, um, she followed my my other channel, she does just knitting, I recently did a, a, a knit along with me and it was a 46 inch cardigan um, I was doing and uh, this lady so um, she was a lady that sent me a few knitting patterns and she was watching the um, the knit along and she decided she would she would try herself but the cardigan I was doing was a 46 but she was only a 40 so she altered the um the sizes how you know what she would have to work out for a smaller size she did a lot of improvisation and made a very good job of it and I asked her if I asked her permission to show because she sent me the photograph to show how it had come out so I asked her permission to show you our cardigan came out and she said it was all right so I'm going to show you Sue's cardigan. Mm. 
And I think so made a very good job of that. I might, you know, a hint I could do with some help with some of these orders, you know, so <laughs> would be an idea. <laughs> but anyway, that's my little longer video today than uh, normal um, because I actually, I, I like doing the, um, the video upstairs here in my spare room. I might do more because I think I've got a bit of better light than here. I don't get the, um, the brightness of the, um, the window in here because it's facing the opposite way to, to what my living room window is. It's on the other side of the, um, the house. The living room is at the front of the house and this bedroom is at the back of the house. But I also have another spare room as well, a single room, and that's where I do all my ironing and I keep all my um, washing and things like that that um, I need to do with that. Because I have a, a big three bedroom house. And actually, I might be by myself, but I need a big three bedroom house. <laughs> so, the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you again another time and let you see whatever else I'm getting up to. So, bye for now.